Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust dead zone settings in Rewaz for games that either don't have any dead zone settings to adjust or regardless of how low you get them, it just doesn't feel good on the joysticks. This is particularly helpful for Destiny 2 and Halo Infinite. So in Rewaz, on your controller, if you go to the joystick you're using for aim, you go to advanced, the response curve graph is going to look like this by default. There's only two dots. You want to change this to custom. So the way that it was explained to me from the Rewaz the Discord, the first dot on the graph is this anti-dead zone adjustment that's most important. The rest of it, I think, is just movement sensitivity. So this first dot needs to be higher on this vertical line than where it starts out. So in Rewaz, we want to go to the joystick advanced setting and we want to custom, we want to make a custom graph, response curve graph. And we need to move this first dot higher on this vertical line. That's what's going to change the dead zone in game. If you notice, this is what Destiny 2's default dead zone is, and there's no setting to change it. So this red circle is the dead zone. It's basically 20%. You need to move your joystick over 20 before it even registers any sort of input. And so if you're on controller, you know this feels terrible, and there's no way to change it in the game. So you have to do something outside of the game to change it. I also made one for Halo Infinite. Now Halo has dead zone settings, but even when I bring them all the way down to zero and I raise up the sensitivity as high as it can go to its max, it still doesn't feel good for me. Uh, still doesn't feel like other games that I'm used to that have great settings. Um, so I have an even more aggressive uh, graph here and the dot's a little bit lower, but it's still higher on that vertical line than where it's defaulted to overcome any sort of dead zone. Just to recap, you want to go to your joystick advanced settings. You want to change the default response graph to custom. And then you want to move that first dot higher up, going up on the uh, vertical line here to start. And you know, check go go into your game, hit hit apply, hit save on the settings. Go into your game, test it out, see if it feels any different. Come back here and keep moving that dot up, 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 up until it feels good. You don't have to move it a lot. It really only should be a little bit, depending on the game. And then these other three dots, you can jack those up higher too if you want to change the sensitivity of the stick itself. Games that have built-in dead zones that are really, really high uh, by default and don't have settings to adjust them really screw people over. But thankfully, there are applications like Rewise that can help you overcome that. Hope this helps.